Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. All right, thanks.
everyone. This is Ahmed Dunn of AhmedDunn.com. Just left work and I'll be walking towards home for about 15-20 minutes. And as I walk I'll be keep talking and today I'll be talking about getting Indian visa and the difficulties and complaints you see online if you try to uh, if you do your research so I'm in downtown Toronto and I'll move the camera towards the front right now so I went to the uh, BLS, which is a third-party Indian, uh, which is a third-party service center, and they are the one who looks after Indian visa. the street just finished crossing the street uh, what I was saying that before applying for Indian visa I heard numerous complaints and bad reviews and bad ratings especially if you do a search for online uh, the complaints were that uh, the service provider for Indian visa was called uh, BLS International uh, they are very slow or they're rude or their service is not up to the standard and all these uh, bad ratings and reviews made me scared because I didn't know what to expect and with the Canadian passport I'm not really used to getting uh, or going through the process of obtaining a visa uh, because for most of the countries we do not need any visa so we just uh, go in and at the airport they issue visa upon arrival but for some very selected countries we have to uh, obtain visa and this is the first time I was going through the process of applying and obtaining a visa and I was a little bit afraid or felt weird to do all these especially after reading all the reviews and bad reviews and comments online so last Friday uh, today is a uh, Thursday last Friday I went to the BLS International Center in Toronto to apply the visa and then after submitting the visa and everything Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah, I know. Right? Why, 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 why 
Okay, so once I once I arrive at the BLS International Center in Toronto, which is located on I believe Lawrence and Victoria Park, and I uh, went to, through the queue, and I was surprised to see that uh, all the bad things or bad reviews, uh, I didn't make any sense because my experience was uh, not bad at all, and actually it was a very good experience. The waiting time is not long, and they're very friendly and helpful. So that's where my first shock came, because uh, people are seeing all the bad things, and it didn't make sense to me at that point. So once they accepted my application, and uh, they mentioned that I should be receiving the visa within the next few days, and at that time, or since that point, every other day I was receiving uh, updates via email or text messages mentioning that uh, the status of my application. And then, just after two days, uh, on Tuesday, I received a text and an email from them saying that they have received my passport from the Indian Embassy and it will be FedEx to my address uh, which was uh, on Tuesday and then Wednesday the visa came or the passport came uh, through FedEx and then I received the visa so the whole thing took only two days so for example I went there to submit my application and everything on Friday and I received the visa on Wednesday so I wouldn't count on Friday because I was there late and so there's in the middle only Monday and Tuesday and the package arrived on Wednesday. So I would say within just uh, two days, they finished everything. And then I received my visa. And there's no problem, no bad behavior, no rudeness, or there's anything, I couldn't find anything to which I can complain about. So I'm not even sure why there are so many bad reviews about uh, the procedure of obtaining a tourist visa for India and about uh, BLS because I didn't find anything in their behavior or process or anything to complain about. So I'm just doing this video to tell them uh, to let everyone know that don't uh, get scared or don't always think whatever you're going to read is going to happen to you. So for example, if someone else had bad, bad experience or a group of people had bad experiences, it doesn't mean that this is going to happen to you as well. Because for me, the whole experience was really smooth, fast, and I couldn't find anything to complain about and the reason I'm doing this video to give these guys credit especially BNS uh, BLS uh, Toronto and the Indian consulate that I'm satisfied with their service and I couldn't find any problem or anything in the whole uh, process so everyone give is giving them bad credit or giving them bad ratings, bad reviews and I'm just doing the opposite. 
will be giving them a very good rating. And for that reason, I'm just doing this quick video to let you guys know that I have a very good experience and I'm satisfied. Now, I'll be doing a separate video on how to do how to apply for the Indian visa which will be posted right after this video and in that video I'll mention that uh, in brief uh, what you can expect or what steps you have to go through to obtain a tourist visa uh, for India especially from countries like Canada or other European countries the process should be pretty much similar if you're applying to Europe or USA and yes, it is the outsourcing company which looks after all the process and visa requirements uh, checking application and all sort of stuff so uh, subscribe uh, for more videos to come and if you like what you see please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing and uh, my Indian trip is going to start in the last week of November which you'll be able to see everything and it's gonna be a three-week trip to Asia and I'm flying a business class back and forth and I'll be doing review of uh, business class uh, airlines and lounges as well so there will be lots of travel videos which will be coming up uh, once I start traveling so hit the subscribe button and keep an eye and also there will be more informational video just like the one you are watching right now so please give it a thumbs up if you like what you see So I'm close to the bank right now and I'll be ending this uh, video shortly so once I hit the corner I'll stop the video but uh, thank you for watching and I appreciate for uh, watching uh, my videos and liking my videos and subscribing my channel thank you hope to see you soon